Just in your mind, where are we today with the offensive uh, that is being planned? Um, because what we know right now, of course, is that there will be a spring offensive from the Russians. It's already uh, in some ways underway there. In your mind, is Ukraine prepared to take back turf? Well, good morning to you both, and thank you for having me. I think that what we're likely to see right now are a lot of symbolic Russian attacks uh, ahead of the one-year anniversary. Uh, Vladimir Putin's also due to give a speech on the 21st of February, his first State of the Union uh, since this conflict. And I think he wants to make it quite clear that he's still willing uh, to fight for the long haul. After that, we really have the spring thaw coming in. So I think it may be until April before Ukraine can launch serious counteroffensives. But we've already seen an escalation of attacks uh, by Russian forces in the key front outside Bakhmut. That city is sadly at risk of falling. Uh, as as well as in uh, Ukraine's Lugansk province and in a suburb of the city of Donetsk called Vuladar, uh, where Russian forces have taken substantial losses. So I think we'll see a lot of provocations, attacks, and probably another even larger missile barrage, but I'm not sure that we'll see that major movement, a combined arms offensive that I don't think is likely until after the spring thaw, when the Ukrainian forces may have uh, the advantage and timing in their favor. No doubt we're going to see more pledges of support, at least from the Western community here at the Munich Security Conference. But when you think about this, um, it has to go beyond those words, doesn't it? And one of the big questions is in terms of the hardware. We've seen the NATO Secretary General in just the last several days talking about um, the lack of ammunition. We know the United States is planning uh, to send more to Ukraine. How difficult is this going to make things for the forces on the ground there to push back against President Putin, that lack of hardware? Well, I think the West needs to realize that the longer that this conflict goes on, and as we discussed, Putin shows no sign of stopping his wanton invasion, uh, that the more Ukraine will essentially need to become uh, completely supplied with Western NATO standard uh, defensive material. The you know Russian army is bearing down on Ukrainian forces. They've taken substantial losses in terms of hardware and material uh, and are using ammunition at... Um, extremely large rates. So that the longer that goes on, they will essentially need to move from the old Soviet stockpiles onto Western material. I think we're starting to see a recognition from the Western allies of that fact, even more positive talk coming out of Germany, and of course the key move uh, to agree the supply of some tanks uh, last month, but we're not quite there yet. Uh, but eventually I think that that just needs to be something that's assumed by all of the key Western leaders and, and Ukraine's allies.